Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, a lot to talk about uh, tonight. We started off wet and stormy this morning, and then the sun came out. Temperatures rebounded back into the 80s, and it was muggy for the eighth consecutive day. But that string should end tomorrow as less humid air begins to work our way. And then, of course, the showers and thunderstorms came back in from the south late this afternoon and early this evening. No severe weather reported, but a good deal of lightning. And take a look at this video coming in from Ohio County, courtesy of one of my spotters, Cherie Culbertson. She was down along the Green River there in Ohio County and captured some neat to lightning where you got to see all the, uh, the tentacles of those uh, bolts streaking across the sky. Every uh, storm's a little different. In some of these storms, you get more cloud-to-cloud -cloud lightning, and I think that's what we were looking at here uh, this evening uh, as those storms moved up uh, from the south. Right now, we got a lot of rain on live first warning Doppler radar. Some embedded storms here and there, especially with this cluster just north of 64 and then along and south of the Western Kentucky Parkway. Some flood warnings just to the north of the Tri-State. And I just heard that there might be a water rescue going on in the Buckskin area there north of 64. That area had a lot of heavy rain this morning and now the rain is pouring down once again. Now the good news right now is that we do not have any watches or warnings in effect, but a solid area of rain now coming up from the south. And it's kind of interesting. We've got the rain moving up from Kentucky while at the same time this line of storms has been drifting southward towards I-64. So where these two are kind of converging, we've got maybe a limited severe threat, but the rain is eventually going to win out here and squelch uh, the, the storm threat. While farther to the south, also watching some cells down there along the Tennessee line that could keep a limited threat going. The other concern will be some flash flooding. Look at these rainfall amounts from the last 24 hours, heaviest along and north of 64 from those morning storms. And the bullseye has been in these areas of red between Grayville and Albion, and then across southern eastern Wabash counties, and then southern Knox counties. And that is the area of the highest concern with more heavy rain falling over the next uh, few hours. And the rain is falling right now. Downtown Owensboro, our American RV sky cam off the top of the Hampton Inn looking down on the riverfront. And it's a wet evening in downtown Evansville. Our iMart sky cam off the top of Fifth Third Bank looking down at the old Vandenberg County Courthouse. The temperature has cooled down with the rain, 71, but it's pretty muggy with the dew point of 68. And look at the gusts right now. South-southwest sustained at 28 miles per hour. So we might have a little bit of an embedded thunderstorm trying to enhance those winds across the area with temperatures upper 60s to around 70. It will fall back to about, we'll say mid to upper 60s, one of the cooler overnight lows we've had in a little while. But yet another day of severe weather from the southern plains all the way to the mid-Atlantic. But tonight, a little quieter relative to the past few nights at this time. Just one tornado watch down here, and we'll get the leftovers from those storms later on. But earlier today, look at all the severe weather reports from northeast Texas up through the Ohio Valley, lower Great Lakes, and especially Pennsylvania into New Jersey. A lot of damaging wind there. A lot of the tornado reports coming in this evening from northern Iowa. We had one in central Illinois, and then down here to the east of Dallas late this afternoon. Take a look at this video from Canton, Texas, where a well-formed tornado uh, produced some damage there as it came into the city. This is east of Dallas, and this was late to this afternoon. Don't know of any injuries associated with this, but yet a another day with the significant tornadoes in parts of the plains and the Midwest. But things are calming down a little bit right now. Storm Prediction Center, as we head back to the map, still keeping us in that slight risk as we head into the overnight hours, but that risk is going to be diminishing, especially after midnight. But tomorrow, a marginal risk for our Indiana and Kentucky counties, especially in the morning, isolated damaging wind and hail still possible. Here's Future Tracker, 11 o'clock this evening, brings another wave of storms along and south of the river overnight. So maybe a limited severe threat there. And then another wave tomorrow morning over western Kentucky. That'll be our best chance for an isolated severe storm before all that moves to the east. We see some clearing in the afternoon, less humid, highs around 80. And then a nice Friday, maybe a spotty shower, otherwise a mix of sun and clouds. Saturday, we're going to see the clouds increase. Some scattered thunder showers will be coming in. Some models 
hold them off until Saturday night. Future tracker a little faster, bringing some activity in in the afternoon. But overnight, we'll see the showers and storms continue, maybe diminishing some by daybreak, mid to upper 60s. Another round of showers and storms in the morning will be diminishing, followed by some clearing, a less humid high, upper 70s to around 80. Uh, 80 degrees on Friday. Those scattered thunder showers develop later Saturday. Peak on Saturday night, hopefully end early on Sunday, so that Sunday should be a decent day. Monday looks great. Then uh, some more showers and thunderstorms returning Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week. But I'll stick around in the Weather Center, watch this uh, diminishing threat for severe weather and the potential for some flash flooding as this heavy rain with a few thunderstorms continues to move on through. All right. Thank you, Wayne. Just ahead.